So that ladies and gentlemen, you're watching cricket.com and today we're going to be interviewing a special, special person. I'm talking about the Indian women's cricketer. Yes, you guessed it. We'll put her on screen right now. I'm talking about Niranjana. And uh, she, of course, has been representing India for quite some time now. She hasn't been in the thick of things, but she's still played quite a few number of games. How many, you may ask? Two women's tests, 22 ODIs and 14 T20 nationals. And she's played, of course, in some of the big tournaments as well. We're going to be talking about how she's going to be making a comeback in the scheme of things. But first and foremost, Naranjana, how are you keeping in these sad times, I should say? <clears throat> my God's grace, I think my health uh, is keeping uh, good uh, at this moment. I've been um, training, uh, you know, considering the fact of hearing such uh, grief uh, news every day. I think it's, uh, I've started developing myself, uh, you know, to have a good mental strength. And uh, <clears throat> as of now, I think uh, nothing much is in our control. I think to keep myself fit and to have a good health, uh, that's the thing I'm concentrating on right now. Yeah, I mean, we talk about your career and what's to come, but let's just reflect in the past right now, because at the end of the day, you've had a roller coaster career, let's be fair, and a bit of bad luck, maybe misfortune there as well. How do you look back at it? Uh, I would say I'm actually uh, grateful uh, to have uh, come through this uh, journey. I think as a sports person, you need to have the kind of highs and lows, you know. Uh, the graph has to, if the graph is up, I think it has to come down at some point of time. That's when you get that kind of balance, you know. Uh, uh, success has to uh, complement uh, failures and failures has to complement success. And that's when you have the thing to keep going. So uh, looking back at it, I, if I never knew that there's something called uh, professional cricket for women. I only used to play with the, my uh, street guys, you know, that's that's what cricket meant to me. But uh, there was a fine day where I just saw the newspaper ads, I went for the sub-junior selections and then it gradually started. I, I kind of knew this, okay, I can make a career out of it. And then there was no looking back at it. Yeah, absolutely. I concur with you over there. Let's, of course, uh, talk about the present right now because your past has been well documented it's known the fact that you played street cricket in Tamil Nadu and you've had some <coughs> uh, journey to make it to the evening team but presently what we understand in the most recent domestic trophy talk to me about some of these immaculate numbers 14 wickets in six patches averaging 9.35 are you happy <laughs> I would have happy I mean I would have been happy with uh, to, to grab quite a few wickets more but at the end of the day I, I feel happy that my hard work is paid off I think uh, it wasn't easy for me uh, because uh, uh, for a comeback I think your numbers has to speak uh, there is there is uh, there's always this uh, thing with the comeback like you know uh, if, if you're going to score a hundred for your uh, first entry into the Indian team your comeback has to have double two, two to three hundreds or you know it has to have like real big numbers but uh, if if uh, if you ask me i am i am happy but then um, uh, how it happened is like i had to put in a lot of a uh, lot of work uh, i was it wasn't an easy process because um, there were tough times for me and uh, i was i had undergone covid uh, like say few months yeah, before, i was going like, to come three, to that I was going to come to that, Niranjana, and the fact that it's remarkable, the fact that you've pulled out such numbers and you've come back into the thick of things, and after going through a struggle, just talk to me what, how difficult that period was for you. It, it was, you know, it was both physically and mentally draining, you know, especially those 15 days, uh, I just wanted to get, get out of bed and, you know, uh, that was by itself a great achievement in that uh, 15 days of time. But then... Uh, Gradually, I started accepting the fact that, okay, we, if you have to continue uh, chasing your dream, I think uh, I have to get tough in my mind. So, everything, so if, all of my activities uh, started surrounding, uh, uh, based uh, on that particular vision of doing well in the domestic and getting back on the Indian side, you know, my recovery, my diet, what, what I'm having and my strength workouts, my everything, everything, literally everything. So, it, it really had a lot of... Uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, it, it was only I, I got very narrow-minded. Uh, I wouldn't say I was obsessed, but then it, there's there's a subtle difference between wanting something, like you want something, you have to put in that kind of effort, right? So that was the kind of effort I had to make uh, to 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 actually stand for 50 overs and bowl those 10 overs and uh, contribute for the team's cause. I'm happy that uh, I was able to, uh, you know, deliver the way I did. 
Yeah, and the way you describe it too, it just shows that there's a lot going on behind the scenes. And you talk about in various interviews your pillars of strength with your husband, your friend as well, and I'm sure they put an immense support system behind you. And that we can talk about another day. But what I want to get to you right now is what can we expect uh, from you if you do don the blue jersey again? Uh, you're an all-rounder. You're a great all-rounder. I've seen some of the highlights before and. Guys, if you haven't, of course, uh, known what she did in the first test that 2014 summer in England in Wormsley, she was just brilliant. She scored 27-2, top scoring for a team, but she got four for 19, bowling like Jimmy Anderson. But Niranjana <laughs> took the part. What can we expect from you? Is there a Niranjana 2.0? For sure. I mean, uh, I have a feeling uh, uh, it it will happen sooner than later. But uh, if if it if it if it's going to happen, I'm sure you'll you'll you'll. I mean, the people around me or whoever is getting to see me is my intensity is not going to drop down even a bit. I think uh, this is what I've been wanting. If if at all I make a comeback, my intensity on the field and uh, the joy of playing for the country and the and and the dream the the dreams. You know, I I, I often visualize myself playing for the country, doing well. So uh, the intense, the determination, and uh, the passion with which i'm playing that will and never reduce till the day i stop playing so uh you can for sure expect me doing well yeah and those are good words i mean all the women's cricket fans will certainly be uh holding you to your words no doubt about that just a quick question on your career because you've been around for quite a while of course you made your debut back in 2008 you haven't been in the scheme of things for the last 5 years you're someone who idolizes roger federer and he defines longevity in sport Do you think you'll take a couple of pages off his book? Oh, for sure. I mean, not a couple of pages. I look at him as a whole. I mean, he's been inspiring me from the day I started watching him. I think um, what inspires me uh, the most about him is he won the first Grand Slam. What it meant to him. Yeah. Uh, when he won the 20th Grand Slam, I think it meant the same to him. Uh, I mean, it, I'm not talking about one or two years time. It's about 20 years of having that same kind of passion. And uh, uh, there's so many people who spoke about his age, and so many people who spoke about uh, him uh, himself for one, uh, to, uh, that he has to actually stop playing. He he just didn't bother. He handled it very well. And for him, what mattered was he liked the sport, and he's playing. you know that's that's at the end of the day that matters you know and uh, when he won the 17th grand slam and i think he in the presentation he said if you believe it's going to take you far in life and i think uh, those words out of his 20 years those words really kept me motivated uh, you know and that was the time i was actually uh, starting to get you know i was out of the squad in that time so those words are still uh, in my mind and i think if you believe it's going to take you far in life friend those those that that will be admired with them always yeah it's obviously great to know the fact that you guys as sports persons derive uh passion and emotion from different parts of a world sport and it's always good to know that lastly before we leave you a word for the fans please because women's cricket's picked up very quickly in the last 3 to 4 years given the t20s and what not but for all those people who support women's cricket for all those young girls out there picking up a bat what would be your advice um first uh, i mean uh, it's i'm very grateful that women's cricket in india has reached um, uh, a certain level you know people identify all of us and i've personally seen a lot of uh, posts supporting women's cricket and who follow uh, me and keep supporting me uh on the whole on behalf of women's cricket i would like to thank all the all the fans and uh, whoever wants to keep the women cricket in india the board especially uh I would like to thank them, and I would like I would I request the fans to keep supporting, and uh, for sure I think uh, we as a team, as women cricketers, will give you a lot of good cricket and entertainment to watch out for. And with those words, we'll bid goodbye to you, Niranjana. We appreciate your time, and there you had it. Ninja is her teammate scholar, shedding light <laughs> in what's been, of course, a good comeback trail for her. We wish her well in her path for more success. Right. You heard it from the all-rounder, and there's more to come from her. Hopefully, we'll catch all of that from Cricket.com. We'll keep you updated with the latest. Until the next time, it's a goodbye from me, Arpit Shetty.